I remember that we would have a pharmaceutical rep. Okay, so we would always get visited by pharmaceutical reps, mm -hmm. right? Lunch, Starbucks, oh, yeah. whatever you want, yeah. okay? And it was during the time that Simbacort was coming out. Mm -hmm. Simbacort was in comparison to Advair. Mm -hmm. Advair is like an inhaler that you use for asthma. Oh, okay. Okay, well with Advair, it's like a powder. So mm -hmm. you inhale the powder, some people like it gets in their throat, they're choking, they don't like it. Mm -hmm. And Simbacort was it almost like an albuterol inhaler. So it was a mist, so okay. not a powder. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is it had this short acting part of it. So people felt the relief immediately, mm -hmm. unlike Advair, whatever, two different pharmaceutical companies. So I remember at the time I started having patients try the Simbacort. And they really liked it because they weren't choking on the powder and, you know, they felt more relief. Right. So, okay, well, then that's what I'm going to write because that's what patients like. Mm -hmm. Well, before you know it, I have the Advair rep coming in and she, she pulls out her little notebook thing and she goes, I see that you've written 10 prescriptions of Simbacort and only one this week. Can I ask why? Wow. And I was like, Damn. how do you have this information? Yeah. And why are you crazy. coming at me like that? Yeah. And she goes, so how can I win your business? Like, how can I get you to stop writing Simbacort and write more Advair? And it was in that moment where I was like, do I, is the pharmaceutical company telling me like what yeah. to do for these patients? Yes, they yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like all these kind of thoughts started coming to me of, <laughs> I just don't feel like I'm in the right business because that's not what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I remember going home, I started crying about it because my whole life I've just wanted to be a doctor. I've mm -hmm. always wanted to help people. And I go, maybe I was confused. Maybe I misunderstood <laughs> what, it, what, it, what is, it is, you yeah. know? <laughs> like maybe I should be thinking about a different career. Yeah. <laughs> and my ex-husband at the time, he said, well, why don't you just open up your own practice? Like, why don't you just do what you want to do? And I was like, oh my God, nobody will come see me. <laughs> and he's like, they will come see you. Yeah. And he was in advertising and marketing. So he goes, why don't we just do it together and I'll do all your advertising and we'll just get people in there. It's going to take time, but they'll come. And so that's how the birth of Novus began. That's awesome. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> It's and, it, and it's interesting that you talk about the pharmaceutical company because every single commercial on television now is sponsored by Pfizer. Yes, <laughs> you think know it's about just like it. oh my. So one night I was sitting, uh, I was sitting there watching television, and all of a sudden I, I, it just dawned on me. I went like this. I went interesting. So the reps used to go to the medical offices all the time, and then. They, the doctors could choose on what they wanted to give their patients. Well, now the pharmaceutical company said kind of, screw the doctors, we're going after Correct. the masses yes. and we're just going to market to them. So then that right. person at home can go into their doctor's That's office right. and go, this is what I want. That's exactly what was happening. God, I'm brilliant. Yes, <laughs> that is exactly what happened. <laughs> you would have these patients come in and they go, you know, oh, I saw this commercial. That's exactly what I have. I want to try that. How do you know that's exactly what you have? Yeah. We haven't even tested you for that. But I have all, I, I yes, have what they I've, talked about exactly. on, on television. But what I love more than anything is the long list of <laughs> side, side effects. effects. Including <laughs> death. Included. That's the very end <laughs> one. That's, I love that. And possible death. <laughs> you know, it's like, sign me up. <laughs> you, know? you know what? I'll be that 1%. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, so it's, it's really interesting that the way that this industry is, and it's very sad because I wish it wasn't like that, you know? Um, as you know, my girlfriend, April, she used to be a veterinarian tech um, and same exact thing in the industry, in the veterinarian industry. She goes, I got out of it because I was so disappointed was the word that, you know, I, I went into it because I wanted to help animals and I wanted to help anything that I could possibly do. And she goes, you would think the veterinarians were the same. She goes, however, they've gotten jaded and they're not. Wow. It's all about the money now. They don't care if they're helping the animal or not. Wow. Like, you know, people will come in that are, unfortunately, they don't have any money. And it's like, they're still gouging them for, oh, you need this, you need that, you need this, you need that. And pretty soon you're just like, 
I can't afford $800. Yeah. My dog has a small rash on the back of its neck. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, she got out of it because of that reason right yeah, there. Yeah, so it's just, I don't have a solution for that. You know, I don't know how to fix. Well, you have your own practice and that's yes. that right there. <laughs> now you can control yes. your environment and what you do. Exactly. And that's really, that's, you know, what Novus kind of was built on. Thank you.